Jarvis, more than two thirds of the 3200 are in our viewing area, including about 700 in Jefferson and Shelby counties. Now it is up to local election leaders to make sure only U.S. citizens are allowed to vote at Alabama polls. While about 95% of eligible Alabamians are registered to vote, Secretary of State Wes Allen is fighting to keep non-U.S. citizens away from the polls. Philosophically, only American citizens should be voting in our elections. It's state law, it's in our constitution here in Alabama. So Allen sought alien ID numbers from the federal government to see if any were trying to vote in Alabama. We had multiple conversations with the White House. Uh, you know, um, we ran into one roadblock after another roadblock. Uh, red tape bureaucracy. But after cross checking data with state agencies, Allen's office found more than 3,200 non citizens registered in Alabama. We asked for a county by county breakdown. Jefferson, Shelby, and Tuscaloosa counties have a combined 854 on their voting rolls. We almost have almost half a million registered voters in the county, so uh, to have some folks slip through the cracks like that, I'm not surprised. Board of Registrar's leaders like Barry Stevenson must now pitch in by sending out letters requiring voters in question to verify their citizenship. If they don't and show up to vote, they must fill out a voter update form at the polls. You're signing and attesting that you are a U.S. citizen. So if they move forward and they are still not a U.S. citizen, then they can be subject to criminal prosecution. And Allen says his mission to ensure only Americans have a say in its elections will continue. We're going to keep pushing and uh, we're not going to slow down. The deadline to register to vote in Alabama is October 21st. Now, Allen says he is the first Alabama Secretary of State to remove non-U.S. citizens from the voter rolls and that they are working to find out how so many were allowed to register to vote in the first place. Jarvis.